you're breaking bread with family and friends this weekend, I've got a great idea. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Winojlovich. Today I'm going to share a recipe for panzanella, a traditional Italian bread salad that is perfect whenever you're entertaining large crowds, this salad really goes the distance. Before I start into the recipe, a reminder to please visit weekendatthecottage.com. When you're there, subscribe to our website, please. Also look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel, subscribing to it as well. And then finally, why not look for us on one or more of your favorite social media platforms using hashtag weekendatthecottage on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. It is such a fantastic recipe, especially if you have a big crowd coming. We're doing panzanella, a traditional Italian bread salad. Principal ingredient is bread. And I'm using an entire loaf of sourdough. This sourdough is day old. I got it at the bakery in the day old section, which is what I'm going to suggest. Uh, it's gonna hold its texture when you go to mix it together with the other ingredients. I'm slicing the bread and then transferring it onto a baking sheet. I'm taking my rock and crushing three cloves of garlic. I am pulverizing them. Place them into a small bowl. I want you to add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil to that garlic, stir it together. I want to infuse that olive oil with that garlic flavor before we take a pastry brush and then we're going to brush top and bottom of each slice of bread. Some people suggest you then place your bread into the oven to toast it up. I thought, hey, it's a gorgeous day. The grill is close at hand. Let's grill this bread for the salad. So the bread goes onto the grill. After a few moments we're flipping it when your bread is done bring it onto your work surface we're gonna cut it into about one inch cubes now remember the bowl with the garlic in it we're gonna be using that oil for our dressing do you want to make that dressing let's do so into a medium-sized bowl I'm now gonna pour that olive oil into the bowl hold back the garlic if a couple of flecks of garlic get in there don't worry about it it'll only enhance the flavor of the salad once your oil is in the bowl we're adding two vinegars I have two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar plus one tablespoon of red wine vinegar if you're a frequent viewer to Weekend at the Cottage, you know I love mustard. I'm doing just half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Those ingredients are in a bowl. We whisk them together and that very simple dressing is ready to go. We set it to the side. Now we're gonna prep the rest of the vegetables for the salad. We're gonna begin with heirloom tomatoes. I have three different colored. I'm gonna take out the caps and then we're going to cut them into pretty sizable chunks, probably an inch by inch, same size as those pieces of bread. Place your chopped tomatoes into a bowl and now I'd like you to salt them. So a sprinkle of kosher salt, stir it together a little bit more kosher salt. This is gonna release the flavors of the tomato before they head into the bowl for mixing. Next, we're gonna take 24 leaves of fresh basil, a little chiffonade, so we're gonna do them into very fine slices, a quarter cup of fresh parsley, finely chopped. I also have six cute as a button cucumbers, cut off the ends, split down the middle, and then chop them into big bite-sized pieces. I have half an orange pepper, half a yellow pepper, same thing into big chunks. Half of a red onion, thinly sliced, and then I cut it even into smaller sections, perfect. Now it's time to assemble the panzanella. We have a large bowl. Transfer our cubes of bread. They are fragrant and still slightly crunchy. We're gonna add the chopped cucumbers, add the two different colored peppers. Next, we add the red onions. Now take your salad servers, give the salad a very quick toss. We're then going to add the basil. Toss on the parsley. Here comes those glorious tomatoes. Give your dressing a quick whisk. Pour all of it on top of the salad. Back with our salad servers, a nice gentle toss and you're immediately going to see the gorgeous color combination. This salad is so appetizing. Some people suggest making it day in advance. I say no, but give it 15 minutes just to kind of let those flavors settle before transferring it into a large bowl and then send it straight away to table. At table, I like to serve this salad onto small plates like this. I think it's a really nice thing to accompany a main course. Let me do a taste test. I know you're waiting to hear all about it. Mmm, mm, it's crunchy. Mmm, vegetables are great. Bread's fantastic. Mmm, flavors are really good. Mmm. Panzanella salad, perfect 
for your next get together. After that, come on back and visit Weekend at the Cottage again. We'd love to see you soon. Take care. Thank you.